so here we're asked to integrate uh, the graph of this function and we need to find the area between the x-axis and this graph. So we'll immediately notice when x equals 0, y is 0. So that's this point. And then it's again going to meet the x-axis when x is 2 because you'll see this becomes 0. So I don't know exactly what the graph looks like, but this is the area we need. And that's the definite integral we're looking for. What we're going to do is replace t with um, 4 minus x squared with t. So in this case, dt would be minus 2x dx, which is this piece. So this becomes um, the square root of t. It's that piece. And then it would be uh, dt over minus 2. So I'm going to take out the minus half. And this we know how to integrate. This is t to the half plus 1 over half plus 1. And this is 3 over 2. That 2 knocks out. This becomes minus 1 third t to the power of 3 over 2. So that's the, um, the integration in terms of t. I can find the values of t instead of in, in, in terms of t from this relationship. So when x is 0, so this would be 4. This would be 0, and I would plug in 0 to the 3 over 2 minus minus 1 third 4 to the power of 3 over 2. You'll see this is 0, and this minus and minus becomes plus, and we end up with 1 third 4 to the power of 3 over 2. This number, you can take the square root of 4 first, 4 to the half and then cube it. That's 2. 2 cubed is 8. So this becomes 8 over 3, which is answer choice B.